Welcome to a brand new podcast, and this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. For any business inquiries, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. There will be somebody in the office uh, when you send a message, they will communicate with you if you want to put your brand on this platform so email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com to uh, set up your brand for business purposes and that's the same email you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com if you want to make a free will offering through our paypal account again you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com Check out evolutionoflondon.com. That's our online shopping mall. We have a whole wide range of products for men's, ladies, kids' clothing, perfume, cologne, house products, furniture, office supplies, tools. So check out www.evolutionoflondon.com. Also check out evolutionoflondon.org. O-R-G. There we have... Custom clothing, accessories, digital products as well. Finally, check out evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. There is accessories such as shea butter, African soap, DVDs, etc. Shipped throughout North America. So definitely check out evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. Also check out The company, www.royalty9international.com. There the company have luxury candles. That's 12 ounce candles. 100% natural wax. Soy wax. uh, From scented to unscented. Now the scented candles have eucalyptus, peppermint, myrrh, frankincense, Jasmine, just to name a few. So check that out as well. And also check out their social media. Uh, TikTok Royalty 9 International. As well as Instagram, Royalty 9 International. And their email address is royalty9international at gmail.com. So check out their product. It's definitely good. And again, you can't go wrong. Music. Cheap Limousine. Cheap Limousine channel is on YouTube. Whole wide range of different beats. And once you go to his uh, page on YouTube, you'll see his other social media sites. So definitely like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. Check out Greatness 19 channel. That's our educational channel to open up your third eye. A whole wide range of products. Definitely over 400 videos for you to check out on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. So definitely like, subscribe, and pass the word around. Persons, places, and things. So again, thank you for your support, guys, and continued support. Also, check out Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. A lot of different videos on health and wellness. So definitely like, subscribe, and share to Mr. Evolution of London. 
definitely check that out. You can't go wrong with that. Also check out the company, AT Repairs. I always inquire for is a gentleman named Freedom. Yes, Freedom, that's his name. AT Repair Center. They locate in two locations. 1401 Ernest Avenue, Unit 15, that's London, Ontario. Their telephone number is 519-204-7300. They've been, uh, they've been to, uh, established, he been established in the repair business for over 20 years. Freedom, that's his name again. That location's email is at cellphonerepairs at gmail.com. And they, again, they deal with repair of cell phones. And they have different others, uh, all different types of cell phones they repair. And they sell as well. So iPhones, Androids, etc. So definitely check that out as well. The second location, 93 Wellington Street North. And again, that's same city, London, Ontario. Their toll-free number is 877-358-0026. Also check out their local number, 226-503-3300. They wholesale at their location, 93 Wellington Street. They wholesale computers, iPads, accessories, all phones. They actually number one in London as far as uh, wholesale, wholesale business of cell phones and accessories as well as cell phones. So definitely, definitely you have to check that out as well. Their email address is AT Wholesaler at gmail.com that's a-t-w-h-o-l-e-s-e-l-l-e-r at gmail.com also that location 93 wellington street they provide security cameras and they install them as well and like i mentioned they're number one for parts and accessories in london so definitely check them out it's definitely a very good spot I need you guys to support and check out Oliver Twist. That's 130 King Street. Every Friday night, they have Uptown Friday Night with DJ Panthro on the mics. They start at 9 p.m. until 2 a.m. They're in downtown London, Covenant Market, uh, Coven the Covenant Garden Market. And their telephone number at the location, Oliver Twist, is 519-204-9184. And again, DJ Panther will give you a whole wide range of old school and new school, hip-hop, R&B, and reggae. So definitely support the machine. And again, it is written. Mr. Will. He's been the fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a free consultation, email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. Also check out his merch, www.wjaccessories.com, and support his merchandise as well. Again, Support his brand. Now, the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor FM, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So anything I haven't mentioned in this description box, check it out in the Oracle 19 podcast description box, as well as the Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London, as well as Triple W dot the oracle 19 radio.com and also find out check out our links to other affiliates linktree.com forward slash evolution of london and we have a patreon channel www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of london there we have videos that is not posted on youtube and we have other uh, uh, digital products and consulting services as well so is a little fee for that, but definitely check it out. It's definitely affordable. And again, you can't go wrong.
Oh, well, okay. I'm going to get into the topic of today. As usual, I always give my perspective of things. And not all the time people's going to agree, but you know the drill. If you've been listening to this show, or this podcast for the longest, you'll know. Today we're going to talk about fighting back against the matrix. Fighting back against the matrix. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have watched The Matrix. I think from part one to part four. If I'm not mistaken, or part three. Three or four, I keep forgetting. I, I've watched all of them, but I forgot. It's been a minute. But if you have watched The Matrix, you, you can get an understanding a little bit of where I'm going with this topic. If you haven't, you should watch the movie, the movie, The Matrix. There are all three of them or four of them. There's something, is is a deeper meaning behind that. And the deeper meaning is not everything you see is true. All, of, all around you, we live in, in an illusion. It's a fantasy. And what do I mean? Let's start with the beginning. We here in, on this stinking planet Earth of ours, we got to work every day, some form or fashion. We got to get up in the morning. We got to be productive. That's most of us citizens out here. But the powers that be, the question you have to ask yourself, and this is something you should know, are you really in the matrix? See, most of us are sheep, surrounded by wolves. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to be more clear as the show goes on. We live in, in a world that that puts a lot of mental roadblocks, powers that be do that to cause confusion and mischief. And so you can make mistakes. It's like pitfalls. Let me backtrack and let me even be more clear. I know I may, might be talking in parables, but le- okay, let's get more clear. The government is effing you up. They have you think in a certain way on purpose. You are nothing but a sheep. 99% of you. You don't think on your own. The government, the government really thinks for you. And even when you do think you think on your own, you really don't. You led to believe that you think it for self. Give you an example. Let's say you go to your neighborhood clothing store. Walmart as an example. They have clothes already out there for you. Yeah, you could put, you can pick their selection of clothing, but that's all it is. It's not clothing outside of the box. They're standard clothes for you to wear. That is is there, and I just try to think with me. You are you led to believe when you go to the store, the department store, we use Walmart as an example. They give you, let's say, 30 selections of different pants to wear. But those are the selections you have to pick and you have to wear to fit in a standard in society. Okay, I'll break it down even more. 
for the business people in the world. You go to a men's store, there's a selection of suits. But suits that you have just maybe, let's say 30 choices because there's 30 different suits in that department store. You only have those selections. You don't have anything outside of that. You have to wear the standards of society. Maybe this is making sense a little bit. This is what I mean by being in the matrix. You go to Walmart, there's 30 sets of clothes, uh, pants, and you have only 30 picks. You don't have 35 choices unless you go to another store, but then there's only those selections at that store. So in reality, there's a limited, is limited choices that you have. In selecting certain things. I don't know. Most of y'all is not going to understand. You're, gonna, you're not going to really understand me. You're going to say, what are you saying? You don't make no sense. Okay, follow with me. Walk with me. In life, when you go to the supermarket, I'm giving you different variations. You, you have a selection of canned goods that you can only buy. That they only select, they you, they put out there, and you allowed to buy. There's not products that is outside of that matrix that will, they will have at normal stores. And if they have it at, let's say, health stores, the powers that be will tell you it's not good for you. Because it was sanctioned by the FDA, Food Drug Administration, or Food Drug Agency. One of the two. You are only allowed certain things to buy and eat that is governed by the powers that be that say it's okay for you to buy or and, and eat and consume, generally speaking. It's put there for you. And now if you're trying to fight against the powers that be, fighting against the matrix, now you are outcast. You are a rebel. You are a troublemaker. If you branch off and let's say get your a clothing line for yourself that you feel that you you can you should be able to wear to the workplace, guess what? That's not standard because it's not a suit and tie. It's not a, sh- a dress shirt and slacks. So you you don't fit into that standard. That you don't fit into that cage, that mental cage. You don't fit into that profile that they have set up for citizens. You you must stay in the Matrix. Now, it's very important, guys, if you watch the movie The Matrix, you will understand what I'm saying more. For the people that haven't, this is going to sound foreign. But the point is, are you really buying the clothes for you? Are you just giving selections for you to pick from? But are you truly picking? Are you truly using your own mind to pick the selections? Or are you just giving choices, but you're still in the matrix? Maybe this don't make sense to you. And a lot of times it won't really make sense to a lot of people. And I'm sorry to say, no disrespect, but you might be a low frequency individual. A low frequency minded individual, which you fit perfectly in the matrix. Because guess what? You what I'm saying is just foreign. You 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 don't have a clue what I'm saying. I makes no sense to you. Whatsoever, And listen, if you're a low-frequency person, hey, listen, it's still a chance for you. 
What it means that you need to do more reading, more research. You need to think outside of the box. You need to stop watching Housewives of Atlanta. You not, you know, you you might need to stop watching just you know frivolous stuff. You might need to open up your brain and start reading books on that deals with science and math, history, government, conspiracies. So that way you can learn and you can start being a a high level thinker. Then you might understand and grasp what I'm talking about. And it's still time for you. Please don't be offended. I know it might be offensive what I said because it touches your soul, your spirit. But I'm not directly, this is not directly at you, but it might be directly at you. Because again, you not, is a lack of understanding. See, we, in this lifetime, the way we are groomed. We only learn, we only knowing to persons, places, or things. Persons, places, or things. A, B, C's, one, two, threes. Everything dealing with one, two, and three in life. You're not taught outside of that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to even get more weird with you. See, the highest number on the planet Earth is the number nine. After that, it goes back to zero. Everything in life deals, everything around you deals with a sign or with a square and a circle. Everything around you is created from a square and a circle. What do I mean? The square and the circle is both the same thing. It's just bent differently. Now I'm going to get more weirder. See, a circle is 360 degrees. The angle is 360 degrees. So is a square. The square have 90 angles. All four corners is four right Angles. Four right angles is 90 degrees. You times 90 degrees times four, what do you get? 360. It's one and the same. In reality, this is kindergarten knowledge. I know we're not taught this in kindergarten, but it's the low level, higher knowledge. If you understand why I just mean It's low level higher knowledge Basics But we don't know the basics That's just us Because why We taught In school Just basic things We is structured By right Physics and calculus could easily should be start should be taught in elementary school. Physics, basic physics and basic calculus should be taught in elementary school. See, now I'm skipping different topics. I was jumping on clothing and stuff like that, but I'm tying it all to get uh, I'm tying it all together. We are in the matrix. We only taught certain things. To just reach a certain level Because when we maintain a low level We still be sheep surrounded by wolves Mean government, powers that be Could still influence us And they just the puppeteers In our our circumference in In our society Even when they're not around us They still controlling us Fighting against the matrix See, so you have to, so the, the question you have to ask yourself, are you really free? Or, or are you still in an illusion? 
on the stinking planet Earth that you live in. See, the whole point of this show is trying to motivate you to start thinking outside of the box. And not maintain in the box. Just only dealing with persons, places, and things. As long as you get food in your belly and you're able to work and you have, you know, you have a house. Again, all of this is materialistic. Then you, your mindset will still be thinking persons, places, and things. You will still have a materialistic mindset. Come on, let's go. You have to start thinking on a spiritual level. Raising your frequency. How? One, by reading. Reading certain books. Reading is fun and is mental. For all the technology that is around, we are... Technic, we have we are technical savvy, especially this generation, but mentally stupid and weak. The question you have to ask yourself: Was that plant? Is that plant? We have all this technology in the world, even on your phone. Your phone is like a computer, literally. But why is the Today's society is mentally stupid and mentally weak. The, your foreparents, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, was more mentally stronger than the people in this day and time. And this day and time is more technology. How can that be? Because you're still in the matrix. And you program to be in the matrix, to be stupid, to be a low level frequency individual, to not think outside the box, to not take chances and do for self, to, uh, to not be a free thinker to the best of your ability. You programmed and you don't even realize this. Some of you is programmed to be violent. I give you an example. To show you, are you still in the matrix? You could be a regular citizen out here. Why is regular citizens out here? If you commit a crime, or I should, let me say this. If you have a thug out here that commits crime and just is just a degenerate, always in trouble, always committing crime, but they in and out of jail. But you, free a free thinking, highly educated man, you commit something and they want to bury you or you, you defend yourself, I should say. Let's say that way. You defend yourself against a criminal and you can get more time in jail than that criminal that caused the crime against you and you just had to defend yourself. person could come in, a degenerate could come in, rob your home, or attempt to rob your home, and you defend yourself. You could get more time than the guy that could, that broke, tried to break into your house. How is that? Why is that? Because the system is built to cause mischief and destruction. The system is built that way. This, this system is not built for harmony and goodwill for people. This system that you in is built for corruption, destruction, and destroying the population slowly. That's why I say, are you fighting against the matrix? Are you in the matrix? What do you need to fight 
back against the matrix. Start being a free thinker. Watch the movie Matrix. That will help you understand what the heck I'm talking about. That's your homework assignment. Matrix. M A T R I X. The Matrix. And if you still didn't understand it, maybe you have to watch it again. Because my personal opinion, you live in, in it. You hear. This is the matrix. And it's a place to destroy you slowly. With the selection of foods that you think you, you, you picking for yourself. The selection of clothing that you, nowadays you don't know is for men or woman. So it's destroying you in terms of gender, not confusing you, breaking you down from within. T- don't you don't know the, the clothing now is becoming is unisex in a lot of cases for women and men. So that breaking you down mentally. Weakening your spirit. Because if you don't know what gender you are. What is that saying? Is that making you a stronger person? Or a weaker person? You tell me. Maybe I don't know. What do I know? What do greatness know? This is not about being whoever you want to be and all of this stuff. I'm just telling, I'm, it's just a question. So don't get sensitive. And it basically boils down to are you in the matrix? And if so, are you fighting against the matrix? Just a conversation here. It's not about bashing anyone. So guys, don't trip. Oh, he's bashing us. He's bashing this. He's bashing. I'm not bashing nobody. Let's be clear. Just questions. Or and given my perspective, I think I'm still allowed to have freedom of speech. I'm not going around hating anybody, causing bodily harm, uttering threats. I'm doing none of the above. So let's be clear with that. Because that's the first thing years from now, people without not even listening to all of my shows or even this show, they will just think that. Pick Cherry pick certain topics and then put their own spin together and saying all of the negative. And that's that's part of the game. I expect no different. But I'm but I'm very clear. At least I try to be clear what I need to say. Or what I'm trying to convey to y'all guys. But again, the ma- the matrix that you in, you really don't have selections, or do you? Not the selections you really want to be a f- a free thinking person. And you, when you're once you start becoming a free thinking person. And you become known or listened to internationally. Why is it now you're a target to be deleted by the powers that be? Why is it sometimes people is deleted? They trip. All of a sudden they're walking out their house and they trip over a strange looking dog and pass away. Or all of a sudden they get an aneurysm. And they're healthy as an ox. Or how about a random shooting all of a sudden. And then drugs or guns is left and saying, oh yeah, they, they, they was doing criminal activity. And this person never had a history of that. But they tie it in. Once they start becoming known internationally 
as an outside thinker. Look at all your leaders of the years. Your Martin Luther Kings and Malcolm X's and you, I could go on and on. Conspiracies is under when these individuals are deleted. JFK, it's conspiracies. All of a sudden he was talking about his last speech allegedly was about, was going to be about talking about extraterrestrials was real. And then we know what happened. But again, what do I know? I, I mean, these are conspiracies. Again, what do greatness know? All of this could be just fabrications and, and you know, what do he know? You know, when you start getting deeper in terms of knowledge, then all of a sudden, all of these fabrications, they start pulling out your history. Oh, yeah, greatness was a degenerate. Look what he did. Look at the choices made, his bad decisions and all of this stuff. And this is why. And you believe him? This guy talk up, act like he's smart and talking all of this fly stuff. And this guy did all the degenerate things. This guy is do not. He's not credible. And they could easily say that. Now, your information is put out there like, I shouldn't believe this fool. He did this and that and the third. This guy's a real degenerate. He might talk fly. He might talk with sense. But he's a degenerate. Look at all the things he did. And all the stuff be leaked out. And this is how they defame you. Keeping you in the matrix. I mean, am I... Right or am I wrong? It's either two. If you if you try to get outside of the matrix and you become bigger and known, now you're on the watch. Well, hell, you when you start being a public speaker, you start. Don't think you're not watched. Don't think you're not listened to. You think I don't know that I'm being checked out on a low level and people just trying to see how far I'm I'm gonna be growing. You think I'm not paying attention? No, people pay attention. And you don't know. People is paying attention. It is what it is. When you start talking about I was thinking outside of the fence, talking certain things, yeah. Believe me, it is what it is. I'd be real dumb to think, even at a low level, powers that be or somebody is not listening or listening just to see how far how far I'm gonna go how far this guy is going I deal with vast different topics I'm a random person But the spirit, I let the spirit move me. And again, I know most of your individuals might not have a clue and understand, but I'll leave you with this. Read. <laughs> Start reading. And don't tell me, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm working stuff. You, you could pick up a book, read a page a day. But you can't read frivolous stuff. If you want to build up your mental, that is, read. But if you just stuck on stupid and just want to be a low-frequency individual, then that's on you. Some people want to read the scriptures, you know, the Bible, the Quran, the Torah. Really, those books is a history. It's a history lesson. But that's up to you. I'm not going to get into the religious part of things. That's just one thing. But I'm just saying just reading books, elevating your mind. Okay, even if you don't want to read, because a lot of you guys don't want to read, 
Listen to my podcast. <laughs> Listen to the different YouTube channels. Not just any. Things that can elevate you. Elevate you. You can learn something. Because I know most of y'all guys gotta don't re- want to read. I don't know if you could read or not, but at least watch something, listen to something that can elevate your mental. At least listen to something. And I repeat, listen to something that can elevate your mental. Stop thinking about, ladies, stop thinking about twerking and shaking your little behinds all over the place. That gets you nowhere. It's a time and place to shake. Shake in front of your man. Not men's. You shake your behind in front of your man. Entertain him. That's your man, right? Your behind is not for the community, right? People at the club not supposed to know how your breast is season behind feels, right? So elevate yourself. Men, if you're going to be leaders, act like it. Stop being a bunch of weak degenerates that don't even have no, that you don't even know if you're coming and going. you living under a woman's house. She's taking care of you like Winnie the Pooh. Only thing you need is a soother. You young bastard. An old bastard. Stop being on your, your, your woman's breastesses. You're too old for that. You're too grown for that. You're supposed to have your own. You're supposed to be self-sufficient, you goddamn man, wannabe man. This is how you stay in the matrix, man. Being a freaking jerk, man. Stop being a goddamn savage, man. Start educating yourself, man. Start being making money for self and having your own, stupid fool, man. That's keeping you in the matrix. You goddamn jackass. The hell is wrong with you? See, this also keeps you in the matrix, man, when you're not self-sufficient. Learn what you was given naturally and utilize the skills that you have naturally. Because even in the matrix, if you watch the matrix, you know there's loopholes to getting out of the matrix. There's loopholes to everything. It really is. I give you an example. Remember when the pandemic started? And every and then everybody they was telling everybody from children to grandmama. Everybody had to take a shot. It became mandatory. And, uh, and you go to stores and people be flagging you down. You know, little wannabe toy cops, security, card, security guard bastards being these dollar stores and telling you, blocking you. Did you, get your, did you get your shot? If you didn't get your shot, you can't come in here. Protecting the matrix. Wanna be cops. You couldn't go even, you had to wait long lines of supermarkets, long lines outside, cold conditions, and wait to be number 19 in the whole goddamn store. It's just you and 19 people roaming around. No, let me, I'm, I'm saying too much. It's just you and 10 people roaming around in the goddamn store and 50 people is waiting outside online. For what? Foolishness. 
and everybody had to take the vax. Everybody had to do this and that and the third, and you couldn't move our countries and this and that. And they saying this, this is what this is what it is. You like it or don't, and they, and then told that to push it to the population. The population ran with it and ate it all up. Now looking now, they still tell you, well, even if you have the vax. You still can get the COVID. So what was the point? I don't know. What do I know? Or now you, you know, now everything has dissipated. Now you can travel again. So what was the point taking all? I'm just saying. What is? What was the point taking, taking all of this? Vax. And now everything is over and everything is coming back to normal. All the people that didn't, I mean, what? They still live in their life. Even if you, whether you took it or not, you still could get sick with it. It's not safeguarding you with no, nothing. So what was the point? All of that in the matrix, putting you in the in the matrix. My personal opinion. Again, what do greatness know? See, so how you should fight back against the matrix. See, it's a mental war out here. It's not physical. It's all about position. The position you in. I use the vax story as a position. All the people that didn't take it held fast. Just kept it simple. Kept it basic. They just rolled the wave until all of it dissipated. And being that powers that be have seventy simple population that have taken it. And you don't even know what you have taken. The average person don't even know the ingredients of what you have taken. Do you know the actual ingredients that was in that liquid? Do you know? Don't worry, I wait. Tell me. No, email me. That's the point. You don't know. 99% 99% of the population don't know what the heck they take. They have taken. They just taken because the matrix told you to take it. And you took it. And you don't even have a clue what it will be and what will happen to you. Five years, ten years down the road. The only mentality, the only thing you will say to me is, well, you know, I'm going to die anyway, so it don't matter. Well, if you're taking that approach, delete yourself now. There's rivers, there's bridges. I'm not saying you should or should, should or should not do it, but I'm just saying if you have that such negative mentality, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? There's rivers, there's bridges, there's ropes, there's pills. What are you waiting for? You have options if you're going to take that negative approach. My personal opinion. See, so again, this is the mentality most of us sheeps are in. Most of these sheeps out here, this is their mentality. So it's easy for the matrix to plug you in and you follow. You follow their standards of living. You follow their standards of dressing. You follow their standards of eating. You follow their standards of thinking. You follow their standards of education. You follow their standards of family, how family should be. You follow their standards of how a man should act. You follow the standards of how a woman should act. You follow the standards of how a kid should act. And you just follow standards.
That's what it is. Now, am I becoming more clearer now than the very beginning of the show? Now, do you see my point a little bit now? Sometimes I know I can start talking in parables and riddles and rhymes and stuff. I know. I'm just getting warmed up. But start, when I start getting warmed up, I'm rolling. And you know this. So, learn. My question to you is, are you learning to fight back against the Matrix? Are you just, have just said, well, you know, nothing we can do. And I guess we just going to have to do what we got to do. And because, you know, if we try something, they're going to delete us. Uh, if they do that, then, you know, then that's it. You know, I, I can't, I just going to just, you know, I, I can't do anything. I, I can't even do anything. Well, look. So what is your purpose on this planet Earth? What is your purpose on this thinking planet Earth that you want? Just to work, get a pension, get a car, get a house and a bank account. Maybe you might be married, maybe not. If you're married, you get 2.5 kids. And then you get old and rot. And then 70 years old, you have, let's say, a quarter of a million dollars. And you say, I made it. And you just sit in the porch from 70 to 80 and you die. Congratulations. What a marvelous job. You work for 60 years and this is what you got. That's not life in my opinion. Yes, of course we got to work. Let's not be simple. Of course we got to make money. Of course, of course, of course. I get it. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't have no fight in you. It doesn't mean you shouldn't have options in you. You're a human being, right? A lot of y'all guys don't even believe in the Lord. You are a free thinking man or woman. You believe in evolution and you believe that poof, you know, there's no God. I'm God. So if you God, God, then why you don't do something about it? Why you don't maintain in the matrix? Why you stay in the matrix? God? Goddess? If you don't believe in the supreme being, God. You, God, supposed to be thinking outside of the box. God, you're an atheist man, atheist woman. Yo, you should be thinking outside of the box. You shouldn't have a defeated mindset because you're an atheist. You definitely should be the first ones to be out here thinking outside of the box, leading the flock. You atheist, you. You non-fearing God, God is person, you. But why is it you the most scared? I thought you was God. I thought you was Lord. I thought you had to put the power to control all things with your mental. God? Lord, all of that is like the young people say, it's just cap, C-A-P, maybe a double P or triple P, cap, papa, caps, capola, capalicious, other than that in, in more clear terms, nonsense, hogwash, spaghetti. BS non truths. So, are you fighting? Are you just waiting to work in to pass on? 
The choice is yours. Again, I'm not trying to change you. Personally, it's up to you. I have enough on my plate to worry about. Real talk. So I can't be thinking about you and 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 what you trying to do or not do. I believe me, I have enough on my plate that I have to deal with on a daily basis to survive out here and deal with the powers that be that use minions to try to chop me down in the matrix every day. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I got mortal enemies that's out here trying to destroy my brand, destroy who I am, dumb me down, and they family, friends, and foe. So I'm not worried about y'all guys per se. I, I mean, I like to see y'all guys do better, you know, as a human being. That's why I'm talking about this, but I'm giving you really my perspective. So it's really up to you how you lead your life. You, you're going to do what you do. I'm just sharing some things, and, I, I, and hopefully it can work for you. If not, I, I'm, I'm still rolling along. Because like I said, I got, I got to deal. And if you watch the movie The Matrix, Neo had agents that was always on deck 24 hours a day ready to pick him and his group apart. And that's what is with me. And I'm sure a lot of guys have that same experience. You got agents around you, which is your family, friends, or foe. Children, non-children, whatever. That is ready to pick you apart and try to destroy you from within. I know you guys have that. It's just... Wives, husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, etc. Out here to try to, to try to destroy you. Because they, they, they've been groomed by the matrix to destroy you. And they out here thinking they are doing a good deed. Like, like the matrix, the agents there. Thinking they were doing a good deed, they they going with the system, but they out they was out to destroy Neo. And you got it's just same ish, different smell. You got agents out here, and we're not even talking about government agents. We talking about just regular citizens that really put themselves in the agent mindset, and they out here to destroy you. They your family, friends, or foe, your spouses, ex spouses, your children. They are mentally put out there. Basically walking devils out to destroy you. And they think they are doing a wonderful, a wonderful thing. And after they destroy you, then what? Or if they try to, if let's say they succeed, what they getting out of it? They just get happiness that they destroyed you? Oh, they get... They get butter biscuits now? Oh, you figure, oh, I accomplished it. I, I, I brought him or her down. You think the Matrix won't do it to you? Turn around and destroy you? But that's the world we're living in. So guys, fight back against the Matrix. You have one life to live. Live it like a soldier. Thank you for listening.